Is that a zebra? No, that can't be. Is that a donkey? Why would they paint a donkey? Tijuana, a magical place filled with donkeys that look like zebras, plastic surgeons on every corner, and more craft breweries than the rest of Mexico combined. When we first planned this trip, we really didn't know what to expect. To be honest, we were only going to be there for 24 hours. The next day we were gonna to go to San Diego. However, <laughs> within the first five hours of being in Tijuana, we completely canceled our San Diego trip just so that we could have more time in this beautiful city with so many hidden things that you have to discover when you're there. So this video is going to be about the four things you didn't know about Tijuana. Number one, there is a huge food scene in Tijuana. For example, we just needed to get brunch uh, the first day that we were there, right? Greg found this place. It's supposed to be one of the best brunch places in all of Tijuana. And we show up and it's actually like a food truck court. And it was really dead in the morning, right? Because there wasn't that much open. The other food trucks were like night foods. So it was kind of dead. And we went up and ordered our food, but Oh my gosh, this place had amazing food. What was the name? Asa Rosa. Asa Rosa. Oh my goodness, we got a... Brioche French toast. Yeah, with avocado, it was delicious. And then I foolishly got a s'mores French toast. It was the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. However, both of our stomachs hurt afterwards and we couldn't even finish it. <laughs> like if you know me, you know that I have a bottomless stomach and I can eat anything, but I, we, we did not finish this meal. There was like half the French toast left. That was one of the moments where like the next day we were supposed to go to San Diego, um, but we were like, we started to rethink it in that moment just because that singular meal was so good. And even just looking around in that food court area, we saw that there were so many different kinds of food that looked so good. There was a barbecue place, a Greek food place, a vegetarian taco place. Like, we, we knew we needed to come back at nighttime. Yeah. Everywhere you go, there's always places that might look like the most abandoned street ever. You cross a little corner or like you peek inside a door and it is just like a bursting food court or just an amazing restaurant. Telefonica Gastro Park, which is where we ate and we had this awesome French toast and all that great stuff with the food trucks. On the outside, it looks like an abandoned, rusty garage. And you go inside and it is incredible. The second thing you didn't know about Tijuana is that it has a huge, bustling craft beer scene. There are 66 independent craft breweries within Tijuana. That's more than the rest of Mexico combined. You can walk around in Tijuana and you can find any type of beer, any variety that you want, and it's all incredible. First place that we went to was Mamu, and it was like, it was really adorable and it was really cute. Another great place that you definitely have to check out is Norte Brewing Company, which is definitely a bit hard to find because it's inside a parking garage. <laughs> Foreign club parking. See, there's not even any signs anywhere. That's the weird thing. One way, at least up the ramp. Okay, we'll try that. I mean, something makes me think it's not because there's no signs. Who, who, how can it yeah. be that popular? I don't know. If they it's have such a bad marketing. Place. Well, but it's, it's a local place. Ah, how'd you find it? Well, okay, then it's not that local. <laughs> oh, wow. So you have to like walk up the parking garage uh, go up a ramp into the elevators, take it up to the fifth floor, and then all of a sudden you're there at this brewery with great beers that all have sexual names um, <laughs> and a pretty great view of the city as well. If you want to see the city of Tijuana, great views. The third brewery that we went to is called Insurgentes, and it's it's on a street perpendicular to the Avenida Revolución. It is so good. We we sat by a window with open air, and it was fantastic. So, so also worth checking yeah, out. Yeah, three breweries for you to check out. But let's move on to the third thing that you did not know about Tijuana, and that is you're really gonna be blown away by this one. Like they, you are not going to believe us when we tell you this. But Tijuana, 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 Tijuana is the home of the Caesar salad. What? There was an Italian guy who immigrated to Mexico in like the 1920s, I think, and he immigrated into Tijuana. He started this restaurant, made his own house dressing, all of a sudden it got super world famous. His name was Caesar. The restaurant is named Caesar's. 
the salad is named the Caesar salad. So we just got to Caesar's and we're going to order the salad now that can be prepared in front of us. Taste that raw egg. That's good. <laughs> and the anchovy. And the anchovy. The fourth thing you didn't know about Tijuana is that it's huge for medical tourism. What is medical tourism? It's when you go to another country to get healthcare. And we didn't know about this until we were walking back to our hotel. In our hotel, it's pretty much an entire billboard that they put over all of the windows. What it said was, Tijuana, the home of medical tourism. And I'm looking at Greg, and I'm just like, what the heck is medical tourism? And we were also wondering why we saw all these dentists, like on every other street. Oh, dentist this, dentist that. Well, this is why. For optional procedures that are not covered by your insurance, you pay mega amounts of money out of pocket in the United States. You go to Mexico and the cost of care is a fraction. The average cost of braces in the US is like $5,000 and in Mexico it's less than 1,000. So if you have to do an optional procedure like dental work or like a plastic surgery, things like that, you hop the border and you pay 20%. Well, those are the four things that you did not know about Tijuana. And like we said, because of these four reasons, we literally chose to skip San Diego and just stay in Tijuana. That shows you how really cool, interesting and unique of a place that Tijuana is. And if you do go, there's a couple other things that you're gonna to wanna to check out. One of them is Las Playas. So Tijuana is right next to the border of the United States, clearly, but it's also close to the ocean too. So if you go over to Las Playas, which is the beaches, it's a beautiful, like they have a boardwalk, you can see the ocean, and they also have Friendship Park, which is, it's literally the border wall goes out into the ocean. But the part that's in the ocean, the part leading up to it, actually was created into a beautiful mural. There's art all around it, and there's a park, and there's benches, and people socialize there. The other thing you definitely want to check out when you're in Tijuana is the Avenida Revolución, which is the main strip. So what we would recommend is walking from the south to the north of the Avenida Revolución, stopping at some cool places. That's where Insurgentes is, where Caesars is. Check out some of those cool spots and wind up at the Plaza Santa Cecilia, which is a beautiful square that's often filled with mariachi bands and restaurants and shops and vendors and all kinds of different things. Let us know what you think of this video. And remember, we're going to talk about Valle de Guadalupe at the end of this week. So subscribe to get Blah, 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 blah. So subscribe to get notified of when we're releasing that video. And if you haven't already seen the video, we've already posted our Cabo video. But we were in a, a, a resort when we were down in Cabo. If you liked this video, make sure to read our Tijuana travel guide that you can find at thepresentperspective.com as well for everything you need to know about your trip to Tijuana. But until then, adios and stay, stay present. present.